Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Forns here playing as Holland. We are reasonably rich. We are not quite a great power, but we are about 12th or so, 12th to 18th in the world. We are looking at expanding into Mexico here with a war. Um, let's just get some better artillery going. And... Uh, we are waiting to get the printing press, but we have paid off all our loans to Austria from a war a little while ago. Our homelands are reasonably secure. We can't really expand the HRE for a while because we lost England as an ally and we still don't have enough favors. And Denmark is so far in debt, we can't call them into the war. Our legitimacy is terrible. Our prestige is doing somewhat better. We did manage to complete our idea tree, so I'll replace this. One. There we go. Sometimes the game needs a little help. Uh, we will do... Honestly, I should probably do legitimacy, considering my luck. Um, we're doing that. We've reformed our colonial administration, which is lovely. Our colonial nation is still, in fact, colonizing. We have got that. Well, we've got about half the Caribbean under our control, give or take a couple provinces. And we are off fighting again in Af um, the Americas. We've also made it all the way down to South Africa, which is kind of awesome. We're obviously going to have to start exploring again, probably after this war. I don't know how I am in terms of leaders. Actually, I'm fine with leaders, and there's no way I'm going to be fighting a navy in the New World for any time soon. So let's get an explorer on the move. West Indian Ocean. There we go. They will hopefully get us closer and closer to getting to China. I think I should just be able to get Taiwan and get the Dutch achievement. So once we get Taiwan, we'll see if that ticks off one of the requirements. If not, we're going to have to build up to an army and maybe allies that is capable of kicking China out of their own lands. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Now we just have to win this war, which we have immensely superior troops, so it's really just a matter of catching their army and killing it, but uh, easier said than done some days. There we go. I think we got them. Uh, was that my peace charity with Austria gone? I don't think so. Nope. Two more years of Austria. Obviously, easy victory for us there. I'm actually going to detach my colonial nation armies so they do their own thing, which is pretty much just occupy everything while I siege cities. Printing press is done. We need a lot more admin power. We could actually get all the way up to a new idea group if things go well. We get eight. We have five and five. Mm, reasonable. Uh, I should improve relations with Castile now that they hopefully are no longer pirating me. They aren't. Want to get Castile as an ally. That would be unique. I mean, heretics getting along, but uh, at least for the Protestant Catholic War, they are oddly enough on the Protestant side. Who are we technically fighting? I'm curious. I think it's most of the... Yeah, all of this. So we should be able to snag quite a bit of land here for our colonial nation, which would be nice. Toss that to them. Obviously, they're not converting any of the land, so if we want any Protestantism in this area, we'll have to convert it ourselves. Wait a second, what's this? Oh! The Maya have a uh, holy city thing. I didn't realize that. Cool. Very cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Do these guys all reform off of me? Not yet. Or have they? Tribes. No, they haven't reformed off me yet. Good to see. Uh, apparently our colonial nation thinks they can win that fight. No, they lost it. Okay. Well, I could have gone to help them, but getting a four is probably worth more right now. I have no idea where Cuba's army skirt. Oh, Cuba's up here. That's where they are. 
I saw them and I forgot forgot that that's where they went. Um, 60% more score. Not really what we want yet. Our army is definitely capable of wiping out much larger native armies. It's our colonial nations that have issues. Barrage that. Next idea group probably is going to be trade. I think trade is the best move. Consider most of our money is coming from trade. We might as well double or triple down onto it. Okay, that's done. I gotta smash this army. If I can, it'll be the whole war will be over. Conquistadors still exploring. Haven't got anything like search for the fountain of youth or anything along those lines, but. You never know. Uh, nope. We want peace with these guys. Actually, I don't want to take them. I want to transfer them all to my colonial nation. Luckily, nobody in the old world should care that I'm doing this. We have now been guaranteed by Castile. Ooh, hello Castile. Does that mean I'm friendly with you again, finally? I don't have a positive enough opinion of them. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, they didn't take that province. Whatever, I'll leave them alive. We just want this land as much as we can get. Nope, no one in the old world cares whatsoever. Okay. Dutch Mexico pretty much just strolls in, takes instant control, and they're loyal. It's hilarious. I do like the fact that colonial nations now longer no longer have to deal with all the religious issues. It makes it a lot easier. I don't think we got any gold coming out though. Oh, we do have one gold province now. That's good, we'll let the colonial nation get some gold coming into us. Denmark is religious disorder. I thought Denmark already suffered through a religious prob prog problem. But I guess it's come back considering they've stayed Catholic. Silly Denmark, don't you know you have to go Protestant? Considering your union is... Oh, you forced your union to be Catholic, huh? Silly, silly, silly. Okay, I gotta smash these guys. Almost all the land has been occupied. If I can stack wipe these guys, it's over. And we did. Okay. Occupy that. Occupy that. The war is over. I want to give all this land to Dutch Mexico if possible. Oh. General died. May he rest in peace in the new world. And we got a nice general out of it. <clears throat> That's worth it. Um, let's separate piece this. There we go. I'm totally fine if Mexico wants to try a uh, coalition against me, considering I'm wiping them out. Um, 60 days, Mexico is getting huge. Somewhat rebels. Ugh. Hopefully I don't accidentally cause like a civil war due to giving them too much land. That would be amusing. Um, 25. Okay, there we go. Oh, can't take it all in one more. There we go. That is quite a land grab. 
they are going to have several religious, uh, not religious, rebel issues. Um, apparently we're leader of the Protestant League now. We got France. Ooh, but we also have Ottomans. Ottomans are weak. Okay, we're going to load up, we're going to head back to Europe, and we're going to start this war, I think. Um, where did I send the fleet to? To there. Oh, hmm. I don't know how we became leader of the League, but I'll take it. Good, we no longer having to pay Austria money. Uh, load up. Sail to here. I'm going to throw a... Fort. I think I was going to put the fort... I don't remember where I was going to stick the fort. Uh, we'll not stick a fort anyway. We'll just train some more troops. Oh my, we can support a huge army. Um... Let's do that. That should give us enough troops to actually be a major contender in this religious war. Um, let's just double check. This. I wish there was a way to see the sides. France is a huge win for us. Castile is huge. That takes out Portugal. That contains Austria. Russia and the Ottomans are going to be a problem. Okay, let's get my troops back into my own territory first. And then we'll see if we're capable of starting this fight. I'm not overly optimistic, but we'll try it anyway. The worst can happen is we get kicked out, we like lose all of our lands. So Right now, since we're the leader, if we win the war, we become emperor, I believe. So that would be kind of cool. Be unexpected, I'll tell you that much. Uh, we will do that. What is England doing? England's at war with a lot of people. Do I still allow England military access to my lands? They must be at war. I don't know how they're getting military access to my lands. Probably because I've given land to somebody in the war. Oh, they're not coming into my lands. They're just going after Geltree. Okay. Uh, we'll do that quickly. Chesapeake. We will head to... We'll send our colonists to Manhattan. Okay, we still got a little bit longer here for troops to be trained. I'm going to have to stop all my trade ships, though, for this war. Because we're going to have to survive an English army, or uh, English navy, rather. I'm going to still keep exploring, because that's going to be a thing. Um... <sighs> okay, um... I think we're about as good as we're going to get. Um, can I? Denmark is on my side, right? Yes, so they will get involved. We are going to launch this war. Austria's got rebel issues, so this might be our best shot, honestly. Um, no way to see it, which way the war is going to go. Luckily, Austria can only call in one ally. Everybody else is pouring in on our side. France... Castile. Okay, here we go. This is going to be horrible. We outnumber them. Barely. Okay. Since I'm religious war leader, though, I can peace out people. So, where is our nearest target? East Frisa. England did not join the war? England didn't join the war. Oh my. If England didn't join the war, that changes things. Or else they just haven't agreed to join it. Okay, East Frisa. We're going to focus on sieging mainly, I think, as us, as leader of this army. Let our allies focus on the war. 
The Ottomans are in another war. That works out well. Is Russia in another war? Russia is in another war. We could actually win this. This is about as perfect as we're going to get for some time. Um, leave it be. Our allies are already sieging there. Uh, we'll go for Cologne then. Oh, no, Cologne's on our side. Who's the enemy here? No, Cologne is against us. Okay, we'll siege out Cologne. The lag is real, by the way. Okay. Straight to Cologne. England wants military access, and they're not in the war. Awesome. Can I... I can't get them as an ally, darn. We do have the same dynasty, so hopefully in the long run that will get our relations back together. We're going to barrage a lot of stuff in this war to hopefully push people out early. In, I'm glad that Burgundy and uh, England aren't involved, because that should save some time overall. Most of Europe, most of the HRE is on our side. Once we push out these couple people, it's literally just Ottomans and Russia and, like, Portugal. Which I'm not seeing Portugal as a problem, honestly. Okay, we've taken this province. Can we force you out of the war? Uh, force religion. Current peace offer is too high. Okay, we'll keep it going then. Uh, who else are we at war with? Trier. Okay. These guys are too enthusiastic for the war right now, so we'll we'll let them we'll let them suffer for a little while first. Sixteenth in military. That makes sense. The condition is you accept religious swap. It's Cologne. Too high. Okay, we're just going to have to let war exhaustion tick up on a lot of these guys. That's usually the way the holy wars go. Exhaustion of all things. If we can overrun Austria, we got a chance. Plus I'm religious war leader, which means this is going to be much easier than if I was working for an AI. Because AIs are stupid. Let's just put it that way. Um, they don't really know how to piece people out. So I think Austria's capital. Obviously have to be wary of the Ottoman army showing up, but really we just need an, just, just enough war score to swap the religion and then we can literally leave the war. I don't think I'll try and take lands because everyone around me is on my side. Um, participation score. It's going to take a long time. Is that Austria picking a fight? Austria is attacking there. Can we take advantage of it? I don't think so. And my colonial nation suffering. Great. We might be able to steal some Caribbean lands. Alliance from Castile. Yes, please. I'm fine. I don't need any money, really. Wallachia. Austria just lost a lot of troops there. War enemies. <laughs> There's the wars, war sides. I only have 5,000 troops. That could be a problem. Um, we'll see how this goes. Siege, so try and take out Austria's capital. If we can take Austria, we can probably hold it against the Ottomans when they arrive. Question is, is there anybody who wants peace? And the answer is no. Okay. And the Ottomans are here. They are not as terrifying as they thought they would be, but they're probably still capable of killing all my allies. Are they still in that other war? They are. Okay, so that's going to keep them slightly distracted. I don't know where Russia is, but I assume they're going to probably end up fighting Denmark. Okay. 
Is this a big fight? We might have a big fight here. I don't think we want this fight, team. I mean, if you can win it, good for you, but... You've, you, they're fighting on a mountain, of all things. Okay. Anyway, that will be it for this episode, and I will continue this one next episode, because this is very... Obviously, we're in the middle of a series, uh, but it's also very fascinating, so we're going to see what happens. So thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.